So you got your visa for Canada and you're ready to pack your bags. So what are the five things that you need to do before you come to Canada? Watch this video all the way till the end because I'm going to share an additional bonus tip with you. So the first and the most important thing that you need to get done before you come to Canada is get your dental treatment and medical treatment done in your country if it is less expensive than Canada. Well, Canada is very expensive. It's one of the most expensive countries to live in. I'm sure the cost of dental treatment and other medications would be much cheaper in your own country. So get all these things done. If you're coming to Canada for more than six months, then you know it becomes all the more necessary for you to get these things done. If you're coming with your family, you don't want to make a big hole in your pocket by paying your dentist or your doctor in Canada. So get these things sorted before you come to Canada. Point number two is along the medical lines, make sure you get your medication for at least a year. Medicine is very expensive. Overall, healthcare is very expensive in Canada. Fortunate uh, Canadians or permanent residents, they get it for free, but you know, still they have to pay for some medicines, right? Medicines are very expensive. It'll be good if you have a stock of medicines for at least a year. For the next year, you can definitely have them career to yourself, but you know, make sure you bring the important ones, especially painkillers and all the other medicines that you take regularly. Make sure you bring a good stock stock of it for at least a year. Point number three is get your driving abstract from your country. Now, what is a driving abstract? A driving abstract is, is sort of an experienced letter issued by the Ministry of Transportation to you that says that you have had your driver's license for a certain period of time. How is that going to help you? See, after you land in Canada, uh, one of the first things that you would want to do is get your hands on the wheels. Um, right, so you, you would need a car to go from one place to the other. Without the car, it is very difficult. You will be, you will have very limited options. So in order to get the car, you need to have a certain level of license. So there are different levels of license. For more information about the license or the drive test, you know, you can follow me on uh, my driving channel. I used to be a driving instructor. So I have a lot of videos around this. You can watch those videos to get some more knowledge about it. But you know, let, let me tell you this, getting a driving abstract is very important because of which people who don't get this have to wait a lot of time in order to get their license. So get that with you before you come. Point number four is make arrangement for accommodation. Before you come to Canada, if you know a friend or a relative, or if you don't know anyone, make some calls to hotels or landlords to get accommodation. Having accommodation arranged before coming to Canada is super helpful because there's a housing crisis in Canada. There are more people than there are houses here. So, you know, you want to make sure that you have a roof on top of your head before you come to Canada because otherwise then, you know, I've heard stories about people walking with their suitcases going door to door asking for a room on rent. Uh, not sure if they're true, but they are not true. You don't want to be the first one to make that true. Okay, so make sure you have accommodation arranged before you come to Canada. Point number five is make sure you have a list of all these things that I've told you along with other important things like your identity documents, your passport for that matter. Make sure you have a checklist ready before you board your flight. Hey, I'll tell you what, I was talking to a friend yesterday and he told me how one of his friends forgot to bring his passport, his old passport to the airport because of which they were not allowed to board the flight because the visa was in the old passport. You don't want to make that mistake. You don't want to miss your international flight because they are super expensive these days. So you want to make sure that you have everything that is necessary for you to board the flight and after you land in Canada, you must have all the documents necessary in order for you to get your job or in order for you to start your business or get a house, whatever, right? Make a list, sit down, think about the necessary important things and make a list and stick to it. Now comes the bonus point. Hey, I wanna tell you something. 
All these airlines may put a limit on the amount of luggage you can bring into the country. What they cannot put a limit on is the amount of dreams you can bring into the country. So, my friend, you want to take advantage of this opportunity and load your head with as many dreams as possible. Because when you land in Canada, your dreams are the ones that will keep you motivated and keep you going. And after all, after all, you are coming to Canada because you have some dreams and you want to turn them into reality. So, my friend, do not forget any of your dreams when you come to Canada. Bring as many as you can. I'll see you again.